Ah, this is what camping's all about, isn't it? This is what camping's all about. Fire pits, beer, wood, more wood, big fire. Right, so I've arrived, um, Dales Bridge campsite in uh, Settle, and I seem to have the whole campsite to myself. <laughs> Check this. Nurse! It's a massive campsite. I'm sure it's rammed in summer, uh, and I'm sure they're fully booked, but they're open pretty much all year round. Uh, it's February now, um, got booked in, I think it's about £20 for the night, including electric hookup, which I don't think is too bad at all, considering uh, what some campsites are charging at the moment. I'm um, going to go on a bike ride um, around the area, there's some nice quiet roads and stuff for me to go on. Uh, I know some of you guys have been hankering for me to go on a cycling specific break, uh, but I've also got coming up uh, some culinary delights. Uh, although I will be having a pot noodle when I get back from my bike ride because that's like camping law. Um, I'll also be cooking up a proper meal in the van. Uh, for you guys to see me cooking something other than burgers and or pot noodles. <laughs> there, there is a bike store, I'll, I'll do a campsite tour. There is a bike store, but I think what I'll probably do is just lean up against van at the back of the van uh, tonight, because I don't think there's gonna be many people around to, uh, to be stealing bikes today. Yeah, but they do have a bike store if you do wanna come down here and you're precious about your bike, which I would be if I brought my summer bike, but I'm on my winter bike at the moment, although this weather would lead you uh, to think otherwise. It's properly lovely in Yorkshire today. Really, really nice. So. Bike ride, then we'll set up uh, after the bike ride, I think. So yeah, here is my plot. Gravel, hard standing, it's nice. Um, you are allowed fire pits. So this is like full blown gorgeousness. Uh, fire pit, food, beer. Uh, no worrying if I'm gonna get moved on. <laughs> so yeah, bike is ready to go. I am dressed ready to go, so let's go.
first hill of the day. Hello sheepies. Oh, substantial ride this actually. 35 miles and about 3,000 feet of climbing. Ah, it's nice to be out. Not too cold. And sorry about the audio because I'm not using the microphone, it's just literally the GoPro. Oh, nice. Oh, look at this for a view. I mean, you've got Ingleborough just over there to keep you company. Most of the ride on your right. Just turn left and up, which is why I'm out of breath. Beautiful road conditions down there. Oh. oh. This is so nice. So, so nice. I'll put the link to the uh, Strava route that I did or a link to the Ride With GPS route that you can download for those who want to do this ride as well. Yeah. Top of the world here, guys. Top of the world. Right. Onwards, down, and then back up again over those hills. Up and down, and up and down, and up and down, and up and down. There's no real flats. So if you're coming to Yorkshire, be prepared for that. This is where all the uh, Olympians are made. <laughs> enough <laughs> over a thousand feet of climbing in the first five miles ridiculous it was super hilly at the start um, and then just undulating up and down and up and down there's a bit of a busy section at the end uh, for those who might want to do this route um, it's on the a65 it's about a mile uh, so if you wanted to do this route and you didn't want to go onto the a65 then I'll put a link in the description below to the route that you can download it on um, to your I don't know your GPS unit that you use on your bike and then uh, you can adjust that last section if you want but yeah for those who are interested um, I'm using my winter bike and it's a Trek Imonda uh, or Imonda S um, with the Mavic Axiom wheels cheap wheels but uh, bomb proof uh, with 28 millimeter tires because they're a little bit thicker better grip and and just a little bit more comfortable because um, they're wider and have taken a bit of the air pressure out um, I wasn't breaking any records on this ride um, a lot of the ride I had to stop, put the camera down, ride back again, ride forward again. So that, that messes with your, um, your, your end result as to how fast you're going and stuff. But I mean, it was still pretty tough. But what it has given me is an excuse to have more ale tonight. So basically it's like miles per ale. So I reckon for every, every five miles, uh, that's about a bottle of ale, I reckon. Yeah, we'll go with that. We'll go with that sort of 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. That's seven bottles of ale there nice it's worth cycling just for ale <laughs> and then yeah shower and get set up so that's it right okay i'm off see you bye Well, that was a nice shower. Um, might as well show you the shower cubicles now. Um, they are simple, basic. It's a push button shower um, and it stays on for about, I don't know, 20, 30 seconds and then you have to press it again. Uh, but it's warm, it's nice. Uh, there's a toilet in there. And even more importantly, the floors are heated floors. That was lovely to put my bare feet on. Uh, but two mistakes I have made. <laughs> uh, number one, 
Um, I forgot to take a towel so I had to get dry on a t-shirt. Um, and then number two, I've uh, <laughs> I forgot to bring my shoes, so I've got my cycling shoes on. So they're in the van, don't we? <laughs> so what I'm doing here is uh, putting on my wet and sweaty cycling clothes uh, into a plastic bag so I can seal it up and they don't uh, condense in the van. Um, and I'll just shove them up front seat uh, to get them out of the way. And then there's no condensation comes from these while they're drying out in the van. Uh, handy little tip that. Right, that's everything set up, ready to go. Uh, the bike's getting a bit of a suntan. Uh, pop tops up, although I am gonna put that down uh, when I go to sleep, just cause it keeps it warmer uh, and there's no reason to have it up. Uh, but obviously, you know, while I'm in there and I'm cooking, I'm getting changed and stuff, it's nice to have the extra headroom, uh, which is all good. Um, right then, I think I'm gonna talk to you in a minute about the facilities that they've got. Nice. So, it's out of season. Uh, so they've got a lot of work going on here. Um, I'm guessing preparing for uh, summer season and stuff like that uh, but they have got everything they've got everything they've got a and b which looks lovely uh, they've got taps all along this wall here um, water taps fresh water uh, there's toilets down this end uh, and there's loads and loads of toilets there's the pot wash and um, we've got a chemical disposal um, there's a bar uh, which isn't open now obviously because it's out of season uh, but I think that opens this year uh, so I'm guessing I'm going to do like outdoor barbecues and stuff. There's a nice seating area uh, and things like that, which is really lovely. Uh, there's a bike store, so if you did want to bring your bike and you don't want to leave it outside your van, um, which I'm going to do tonight because there's only me here. <laughs> there's a toilet block here. A lot of them are locked um, because, well, there's no one here. <laughs> there's only uh, three showers open, I think, and three toilet blocks. Uh, there's some uh, pods, camping pods just down there. And then uh, some like... They're like youth hostily kind of rooms. Um, I can't get in because there's no one in them, but uh, but yeah, some kind of, I don't know, rooms you can stay in as well. So even if you haven't got a tent, you can come down here as well, which is lovely. It's well maintained, looks nice. Uh, acres of room, uh, yeah, absolutely acres of room. There's a fire point just there. Uh, and it also dogs must be kept on lead at all times. Uh, so don't be bringing your dog and letting them go riotous. Unless obviously you've got a great dog, unlike Branston, who would run into everybody's tent to say hello. <laughs> I don't have to keep quiet tonight, because <laughs> I can have my music on, my fire on, I can talk at this level, because I'm not going to be disturbing anybody. This is Mintaz. I reckon this is really rare, actually, uh, that you would get uh, a spot like this with nobody else around. <laughs> Ace. Ace as. Right. Showered, changed, sorted, camped up, done beer right so i've just had a quick chat with the owner ross uh really lovely chap uh trying to get his little one to sleep in the push chair just going around in circles and stuff like that uh, really lovely chap uh he was just telling me all the things that are going on at the site and stuff and they they took it on about three years ago and they've made so many changes uh all these all the like the path and the gravel that's all changed since they came along um and they're just doing bit by bit there's a brand new shower block that i completely missed uh, over that way uh, so yeah welcome on board to the channel ross uh, right, that's beer, isn't it? That's what I wanted. Nice.
Right, so dinner is on the go. Um, slight problem though, uh, I'm running out of gas. <laughs> um, so I had both burners on and the pasta wasn't cooking at all. So I've uh, made my bolognese and then uh, transferred the pasta onto the bigger ring because there's more flame coming out of that. I have got a spare gas bottle though. I always carry a spare one just in case. But I was halfway through cooking and I thought, I'm, I'll just run this right down. Ah, it's just... I know it's just one of those things that you have to do in a van, but it's just right palaver. <laughs> I'll put it on my list of things to do. Nice. Now, don't judge me. Eat out of the pan. I mean, what's the point in putting this on a plate? It don't make any sense, does it? Mm. It's right nice though. <laughs> outside your camper van is there oh this is lovely properly cozy and warm right nice uh, there's not uh, <laughs> quiff nearly went then uh, there's not a cloud in the sky so hopefully i'll get to see some uh, stars tonight which would be lovely so a chap got in touch uh, on facebook uh, a couple of weeks ago called uh, mark and he um asked if he could paint my van now, not as in like paint the van, as in like paint it in different colour. What he wanted me to do was send him a picture of the van so he could do a painting. Ah, my knees. Um, and he's painted the van and he sent me it. I'll put some B-roll up now. And I am absolutely blown away uh, by this painting. Absolutely blown. It looks like on video, it looked like it's like a digital picture that's like being printed or something, but it's not. You can see the brush strokes when you look at it up close and he paints them all by hand he just does it as a hobby it's not uh, you know uh, it's not a, a, a huge business kind of thing he just does it as a hobby and he, and he got me this painting so I said to him I said look I'll I'll give you a mention and I'll put a link in the description below as to where you can because uh, he'll paint them for anybody he had, had like three or four of them out uh, when I went to go pick it up because I went round to have a cuppa with him and um, and yeah he's, oh, he's he's epically talented um, so so yeah I mean help a guy who's just trying to get some beer money and uh, go visit his page and see if he'll paint your van for you you know your favorite picture of your van that'd be ace wouldn't it oh nice yeah so go check him out uh he's ace um i don't know what i forgot what the name of the is it i'll put a link in the description below anyway but it's called the palette on facebook but again i'll put a link in the description so you can go check it out oh fire so i've been thinking about some van mods obviously and uh, there's a few things that I think I want to do. The first thing is uh, I've seen that you can get like tables that are, it's like a plank of wood almost, and it goes on the front double swivel seat and it acts as like a, a le extra little table to put stuff and it's got cup holders in it and things like that. Um, so I thought to myself, I might make one. Uh, so I'm gonna try and make one of them. If it goes wrong, I'll show you why it's gone wrong and, uh, and I'll tell you where I bought one from if I had to go out and buy one. <laughs> Another thing I wanna do as well is uh, rebuild the table I made it out of pallet wood it's really nice but it's still a little bit it's not perfect and it kind of creaks a little bit and stuff like that and it's it, it can certainly do with improving a little bit so I'm gonna buy some more wood I'm gonna redo uh, a, a table for the uh, in the van uh, and make that so yeah it's quite a few little things coming up and obviously I've uh, and not obviously if you don't follow our Facebook page and you've missed it on the uh, um, uh, on the YouTube community page I've bought a um, a river pro battery bank i said i were going to buy it i will in the market for buying a new uh, battery bank because the bordens is great and stuff like that i just want it to have more power um for off gridness so i'll let you know when that arrives it said about four or five days for it to arrive so we'll see what that's like and we'll give it a full test i might even try vacuum on it and see what happens <laughs> not on it with it plug a vacuum in see if it works <laughs> this is mint as there's literally nobody about i could run around this field naked no one would ever know apart from you guys if i videoed it Ugh. Ah, this is what camping's all about, isn't it? This is what camping's all about. Fire pits, beer, wood, more wood, big fire. One thing I didn't take into account is walking to the toilets by myself. 
with nobody else on site. I'm literally in a field with nobody about. <laughs> I didn't take that into account. Um, I know I'm on a campsite, but I assumed that there were going to be lots more people here and, you know, there would be a bit of hustle bustle and walking to the toilet wouldn't be a problem, but now it's pitch black over there and it's frightening. <laughs> Just replying to some of you lovely folk actually, um, been sending me messages on uh, Facebook and YouTube um, asking various questions about some stuff and I answer them wherever I can and I try to get back to all the comments in the comment section as much as I possibly can. I can't reply to all of you sometimes, there's hundreds and hundreds of comments but I do try and reply to as many questions as people might ask um, and pretty swiftly as well if I can. But yeah, this is nice. Oh. Oh, I've had to come in. It is so cold outside. I mean, clear skies means like super coldness and stuff. Um, but the wind is coming this way. It's not strong wind, but it's enough wind to chill your bones. Um, and I've gone through all the wood. Uh, and what was happening with the wind is it was just blowing all the wood smoke into my face um, and making my knees super hot, but the rest of my body not warm. <laughs> so yeah, I've had to come in. It's properly cold. I've got the diesel heater on because I did have this heater on, which is like a... I don't know, 20 quid heater from Asda's and um, and it went off so I'm assuming because I checked everything so I checked all my fuses and um, and I checked all of the relative things that you need to check uh, so I just thought to myself well maybe there's some sort of limiter in the campsite plug um, because the plug socket still worked it's weird, it's really weird so the plug socket still worked I've just plugged my phone in and, uh, and that worked absolutely fine even when the heater wouldn't come on um, and then after maybe, I don't know, 10 minutes, the heater came back on again. So either there's a problem with the heater or, as in this heater, or there's some sort of limit on the amount of draw, uh, which I'm guessing is probably the most likely scenario. There's some limit on the draw. I'm going to get the bed out, I'm going to get a movie on, and I'm going to just chill out for the rest of the evening. Uh, so I shall see you in the morning for a full-blown coffee montage and all that jazz. Okay, thanks for watching so far. And I'm sorry I didn't look at the camera. I just looked at the screen because yeah I, I'm, I'm getting there with it I'm looking at the screen sometimes but not all the time so uh, yeah I'll get there with it anyway right okay good night guys I'll see you in the morning see you bye Campsites. It's really nice. Um, hardly any condensation on the windows. Um, there's a bit more now because I've just had the kettle on. But um, but yeah, uh, I didn't even have the heater on last night at all, and it stayed lovely and warm. I had a toasty, toasty night's sleep. Um, yeah, nice. I think I'll uh, get packed up and get sorted and uh, head on back. Right, we're almost packed up and ready to go. Uh, I've got my bike, the deck chair and the fire pit to put in yet but that's a two minute job uh, just got the engine running just to get rid of the small amount of condensation that's on the inside of the van which is ace, it would have made for grim um, riding today this weather wouldn't it, oh it's horrible it's properly, it's like it's sort of spitting and it's really cold this morning uh, so yeah I think I chose the correct day for uh, cycling yesterday definitely, lovely sight, I like it I'll definitely be back uh, without a shadow of a doubt I will be back and I'll be back with the family probably our friends who normally come camping with us uh, yeah just nice right then guys it's been lovely thank you so much for watching yet again another episode of me waffling on about my van and going cycling and stuff you've all been awesome don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one take care see you bye